So we are now going to place doors and windows. So we have these two big doors there. And here, put ourselves in plan view to see better, we have four doors. And on the rear side here, we have this window. We can see it in plan view here. And we see it on the rear elevation here as well. So let's start with this one, which is the most complicated one. So we'll basically draw it from scratch here. So you see that I put my working plane on the face of the wall, but I'm putting myself in rear sight, rear view, so I can draw directly on the facade drawing. And I'm drawing three rectangles because the window tool in FreeCAD, when you make custom windows, you need to, to make closed loops. And with these closed loops, you see now I remove the face from these rectangles, so they are only the outline, they don't have any face. And I'm making a compound of them. So I have one object which uh, includes three different loops, which is perfect to make a window. So I'm selecting my object and making a window. First thing, you see the direction here. Our window needs to extrude in the Y direction, which is the green axis, but on the opposite direction, uh, that the one indicated by the little green arrow. So once, so we need to put the normal of our uh, window to that direction, so we make sure it will extrude in the right direction. Now we add a couple of components to this window. One will be the outer frame, and we select three the three wires, and these three wires will be filled with a shape that will be extruded by five centimeters, which I just said now and two other components, which will be two glass panels, one with each of the inner wires. And now we'll give them a thickness of one centimeter and an offset of two centimeters. So they will be placed exactly at the middle of our five centimeter uh, frame. And same for the other glass. This time we pick the other wire and give it the same thickness as the first one. Everything done. You see that it's there, but it's inside the wall. Okay, it looks correct. Let's look in plan view how it looks like. V4 to put ourselves, and you see there is some small difference here. That there is difference in the plan view and in the facade view, which is quite common actually, and it happens a lot uh, when the person draws in one view, then in another view, errors can happen quite easily. You see that our frame is a bit different. 5 cm here, but it's different in plan view and in facade view, and it's also a little bit inside by 5 cm. So we need to move our window inside oh, I seem to have moved the wall together so let's undo this Do it again. You see that I didn't cut any of my errors in this video again. So you can see really the real time operation of all this, and I didn't try to make it uh, like faster or remove my errors. So you can get a sense of what you do when you when you do mistakes and um, so I undo it again 
And I think what happened here is that uh, the window is set to move with hosts and for some reason it's taking the wall together. So instead of doing the moving the window, I did something different. Now I gave it a default offset of five centimeters. And all the components of this window, the three components that we created earlier, we add this default offset to it. So now when uh, when we set a global offset of five centimeters for our window, it will influence all its components. And you see this is not enough. Six is too much. Five point five will be right. Yes. Okay, now that's correct. And you see that's still not creating a hole in the window because its hosts is empty. So this window is, is not attached to any wall. And we need to attach to this wall. So we need to set the host property of the window. And I saw that the wall I need is the wall named wall. wall. We set the host and recompute and it's correct. Now it's making a hole through the wall. So that's how Windows work. Um, they have a host property and you can set any number of objects they have to make a hole in uh, with that property. So it's the window who knows, that knows which objects it belongs to, not the wall that knows which window uh, it has. Uh, this was done basically to avoid the circular references. Now we can add doors and you see what I'm doing here is placing the working plane to a face, removing these and measuring here what would be this size, 80 centimeters, so I know which size of a door I need. And so I will use here a simple door Make sure it's with is a T as I measured, and I can place it here. And having put my working plane on the face of the wall, in which I intended to place the door, uh, made it easier to do. And when we do that, the host property of the door is automatically filled because it knew that I clicked on that wall. So same thing for the two other doors. And once a door or a window knows its hosts, you can move it around and it will still uh, make a hole in, in the host objects, any number of host objects. There can be more than one. Uh, you see that this window, this door is larger than 80 centimeters. Probably 100, yes. So our three doors are there. Let's put our working plane back in top view. Always a good idea to save. And then we have two more here, which are double doors. And we don't have a default double door in FreeCAD. Uh, so I'm thinking of using a window because we have a double window. And before that, I'm going to measure one ninety five. But 
we could make it two meters because it seems like there is a little space needed for for the structure of the door so I'm gonna here use these two pin open window which is more or less what we need and we will basically adjust it later on to look like a door so I'm placing it anywhere not putting it not snapping it inside any wall because um, as you have seen uh, windows in FreeCAD don't need to be inside a wall you can mark hosts as you want but you don't need to you can just draw windows independently of of any wall and uh, you see that it has a lower bar here that we don't don't want because it's a door so we are going to edit the sketch of this window and you see this sketch is basically drawn the same way as we drew our first window and this has a constraint of three centimeters there which i will remove of course white and white not very visible and bringing this very low so you see i left a little something because i thought it would be safer to not have any white that cross each other but th that's good um, probably in real life you would in any any way have a kind of railing or guide profile on the bottom so probably this is actually correct so we are rotating it and bring it to its correct location here okay that looks good and we have another one which is apparently identical so instead of doing another one we just clone this one and choose clone in beam workbench clone works the same way as the move tool it clones then it moves so you pick a start point and an end point and your clone is placed on the correct location so we have one more here which is inside a kind of glass structure but since we are doing all the windows and doors we'll make a door we'll use a common glass door and we'll add this door now here even if it has no it's a bit too short five will be correct yes that looks correct perfect even the thickness by by luck looks correct so all our windows and doors are there now so we're ready for next episode